Hello and welcome to another brief demonstration of canonical diagram synchronization in the Mars release of the Eclipse Papyrus project. Today we'll have a look at composite structure diagram. So here's a very simple composite structure for a black box class. It has, uh, you know, it has a port and a part and a connector that we don't see in the diagram yet. So let's start by applying a style sheet that makes all classes, properties, and ports synchronized canonically. So let's drag that in here. Okay. So now we see the port and the part in our black box. Let's lay this out a bit. And in fact, this nested structure here is a blue box. And that has further nesting of contents. There's a part that is a black box. So that's one of the uh, possible situations we can run into with composite structures that if parts are not composed, they can in fact define recursive structures. So we might uh, expect to find a uh, an indefinite recursive presentation of this nesting structure of boxes within boxes, but that doesn't actually happen in this diagram. So that's a good thing. Otherwise, Eclipse Workbench would just hang trying to present them all. Okay, let's now create another part of this same blue box type. So we'll just drag this class in there, make another part. Okay, so we see that canonical edit policy makes the same structures apparent on this new part as on this one that we had before. So we've got the port, we've got nested structure, that's all good. Of course, because we did this by drag and drop, the diagram knew the visuals that we wanted to create. Uh, as far as the, the part itself is concerned, it was only the uh, structure within that part that canonical edit policy created for us. But what canonical edit policy can also do for us is to create connectors. So let's create an assembly connector between these two parts. And voila, there it shows up in the diagram, as well as in the Explorer. That is our assembly connector, great. And we can do the same thing with ports. So we see here that these two ports are in fact the same port uh, property of the blue box class, but it's presented twice because that is a representation of this port on different parts within the overall composite. So although there is this connector that is a connector between this port of the black box and this port of the blue box, because the end here has also the association of the part with port, it shows up only uh, between these two shapes and not between these. But we can create another connector to do that. So let's connect the output port here with, oops, with this new blue box part that we created via that port. And there we see it shows up as uh, we would expect. So there you have it, the composite structure diagram synchronized with the model. Thank you.